Hi guys, this is Dave again from Big Shift Tiny Kitchen and we're coming back to our island after a few months of inactivity. To start, so I opened this part because since I'm not letting... Okay, I'll let you in on a little secret. Uh, currently, my island is designed, as you can see, escape room. So it's actually an escape room I designed. So it's designed to be done in 15 minutes. In the future, we'll be doing challenges now. To those of the subscribers who have Animal Crossing, I will be doing... Of course, there's an entrance. Our entrance fee is only 100,000 bills. So it's not that big. So our price would be 1M bills. All the blue roses on the island. So mamaya punta na yung mga blue roses. So a reception area. So the reason why I have a sign here, so it's not supposed to be there. But the reason uh, I have the sign here is because the dream address natin actually originates from the resident services area. No? Okay, so kaya may sign each tayo dito is to start the dream address here uh, in the bed where Marcel is. Okay, so we follow the arrows. It would ultimately lead there. But when you go to the dream address, you get led straight here. No? Usually, pag merong pumupunta dito, nag-iiwan din ako ng orange jumpsuits so that you can wear it while you're here. Waiting area. So, you can sit here habang nag-wait kayo ng turn nyo. So, this is a one-person escape room or oh, escape island. Kasi nga, you're locked in. You need to escape. Okay. So, yeah. So, first off, sasamahan ko kayo syempre, pero... Uh, here, you have to take everything just to prove na wala kayong dalang other things. Kasi is, you have to be literally empty-handed when you get here. So you'll just bring 100,000 bells, give it to me. And you have to pick every single one of this. If you get every single one of them, syempre return them. Na hindi pa naman ito kasama doon sa 15-minute allotted period para sa ating escape uh, island no so we're gonna start pag nandito na kayo after doing that no? so yeah as you can see hindi rin ako napaginis masyado so there's a certain relevance to sa mga stuff na nandito sorry for the detail ng screen i can see it uh, somehow kasi may lag din naman ito dahil medyo marami ng items so uh, there are random items dito so kumbaga uh, i'm portraying it in such a way na para he got thrown off. I don't know. I don't see Gulliver. Got thrown off the boat. And the boat crashed. So here you are, stranded in an island. We'll be running the timer once umabot kayo dito sa point na ito. You have to start the timer first. So get this one and get the timer. Start the timer, then go. I'll start the timer as well. So, yeah. So, that's one of the puzzles. Pero, I don't want to give any more clues. So, ito naman. It's a maze, no? Pero, I won't show you... I won't show you this shit anymore. Kasi nga. <laughs> it's a puzzle. It's supposed to be like that. So, yeah. yeah. So, okay. Since wala kayong gamit, uh, when you start, so obviously, first game will give you this ladder, this one, it's somewhere right there. So the tool that you'll have on the first uh, puzzle is a one-time use uh, shovel. So you want time use the shovel na yan, wala yan magagawa pag ka So I will deduct one minute of your time and give you either another one-time use shovel or your can the about five minutes of your time for uh, higher durability shovel. No? So I don't think na, I don't think you would like five minutes of your time because you have fifteen minutes from a lot. So I would advise na kung makamani man kayo, less one minute and I would pick it up for you. Okay. Sabihin mo lang ko na sa So we'll go down here para dun sa maze. No? So I will just censor this part so that I don't know where it is. Okay, so this is the start of the third one. 
put this in third pass level. So it's skipping stones. No? So not no confusing layout naman ito. Pero there's a there's a secret here na kailangan niyo makuha in order to finish the puzzle. You can go through easily, pero as you can see, if hindi niyo makuha yung required na gamit dito, you can't go through the next. This means I won't show you this one any anymore because there are booby traps set in here. So, and the clue that I want to make here, there are people with booby traps inside. At the concept for this one, uh, sa Takashi Kato. So, uh, it's a 80s or 90s show. Um, it's a Japanese game show. The players have to siege Takeshi's castle to get the prize. No? So. There are also difficult puzzles there. Pwede ko na rin pakita sa inyo yung Takeshi part ng castle ko. So, this is technically a crenellated wall. So, at night, it's better kasi there are light. So, ngayon may clue na kayo kung gano'ng karami yung blue flowers natin. So, we're just proceeding through uh, puzzles 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, I won't show you the layout of 4 na. So, meron din requirement to go in K4. So, pakita ko na rin yung pirate code natin dito. Apparently, red is not here. So, si yung last part. Technically, this is the last part ng pinaka puzzle games natin. Pero, this is a simpler one. So, meron na kayong clue agad. Okay, so, we're here sa ating castle. So this is uh, another player that I made. This is actually my wife's account here sa akin. So I have an account over at her side as well. So this is actually the head of the castle. You can see it from the viewpoint below. Below, sorry, not below. Okay, so... Yeah, uh, not, not to flex, no, but... <laughs> yeah, okay. So anyway, this is part of the maze. There's also something you need to do here. Uh, if you visit it, uh, if you visit this castle through a dream, uh, nandito yung character na ni Mabel dito, Mabel. That's my wife. Mabel. Nandito yung character ni Mabel to give you a clue kung nasaan. Although pag dito, pag bibisitahin nyo ko to experience the puzzle, I'll give you the clue once you get to to. Once you get to, to this part of the maze, no? so we began on a little anecdote which will give you this one. So, dito hindi mo kailang na vaulting pole, there's Godzilla, but here you need, it, you need this one. So, before we proceed to the town, so you can come in at all. There's one here actually, pa. there's a spot where you can take a picture. That's nice, man. Okay, so over there, you have my bamboo forest and a forest of blue roses as well. Okay, um, hopefully, dumalo kayo, ng, dumayo kayo sa akin ng gabi para mapakita sa inyo yung uh, visuals. Ito ang aking castle at night. So, it's, uh, it's the time ends when you pass through this one. So if you get 15 minutes or more, syempre, uh, you, forfeit the, you forfeit the entrance fee. But you can still collect the flowers. So the 1M is an additional perk to winning the escape room. But if you get it in 14 minutes and 59 seconds or less, I'll give you a million bills. So good investment siya considering 100k lang naman investment to dito. Or you can opt up. Because I have funds pa naman in this account, so you can opt up to say 500k to multiply your price by five times. So instead of 500, fi instead of 1m, you get 5m. Ah no no no, <laughs> 2.5m sorry. No no, because 100 yeah. So you get 2.5m, and so on and so forth. So the limit ko ngayon is I think 10m per person. What we have here is a little fish market. So let's see, you have an ore fish there. Tapos weighing scales. Uh, apparently, uh, award-winning fisher ang 
fisherman ang may-ari nitong stall na ito. So, here's the kitchen counter with, I think, a uh, fresh bloody knife. I think kakagawa lang ng sushi. So, meron din tayong wharf dito for fishing. So, it's a very good spot. I think I got a few football fishes here and oar fishes as well. So, if you're planning to visit, you can also bring a few of your bait so that you can fish. So, there's a secret spot here para papakita ko muna sa inyo na sa taas. So, so currently, balik tayo sa casa later to see the inside. I have a ramen and katsu stand and okonomiyaki stand here. So, graphics made by me. So, there's a chef inside as well. Okay. So, uh, here is uh, the main festival area on top. So, Nakita nyo na actually ito. Kasi people like train watching here. So, I thought about putting this one. So, this is a, a vista of the train. The, the train tracks from, from the train station that we will be visiting later. So, those are the houses. Siyempre meron tayong... I made this actually using the tips from i don't remember if uh if it's abdullah yeah it's abdullah game here so i use i followed these tips for growing trees partially so this is a force perspective uh train trap so these are the micro trees so i just follow the tips you know? some houses yeah but we can't go through there because the houses are blocking and don't, I don't want to move them anymore. So anyway, you can see it naman. There's your first perspective there. There's a tanuki here. It's a tour guide. Okay. And here is an onsen. So there's a fire here. There's a cute altar for manikineko. And there. This is an onsen. So we just tour this. These are actually mostly common rooms, no? so these are just like this. Yeah. So traditional uh, dining. So ito ay dining and drinking. Actually, this is the bar. So here, so same, same as above, same as below. So the opposite rooms, naman, are also the same. So they are exclusive rooms. Siyempre, time, time of COVID tayo ngayon, so social distancing, so medyo malaki yung ating protect suit. Okay, so if you go up into the back, you can see the kitchen. Okay, the kitchen, uh, as with any normal kitchen, yeah, it's very noisy, as with any normal kitchen ng restaurant, yeah, you have the fridges, the trash can should be, there should be a trash can always. So, there's a mixer for various cakes that are served. Rice cooker, siyempre. We even have that one in real life. Tapos, siyempre, espresso machine. We call people, those who have been a little bit drunk. Let's explore the town first. Actually, the whole island is Japanese inspired, so... It's not 100% since uh, I haven't been really visited Japan yet. I was planning to, but COVID, so you know. <laughs> COVID and also money, so. This is my town. So I actually prefer mostly uh, residents who have uh, Japanese style houses. So one of my first um, residents actually is Walt. So Mira was actually one. Uh, Mira and Boots were the first ones, but I didn't like Boots. And Mira asked us to go away a few weeks ago, so I replaced her with Diana. I was trying to get the vibe of Akihabar, but uh, I don't know how to do those tall signs yet. Okay, and I got a, a few spoofs of Japanese brands here, such as the famous Pandai. And Park phone, sorry. Okay, so okay, we're back in the 
President Services. So, puta muna tayo sa aking flower nursery. So, this is the Blue Rose Nursery for this island. And also, this one, this was the insignia I was planning to put uh, way up there. Pero the the area here is actually bigger. So, I could. Uh, so, this uh, practice area for me. Of course, after, after the maze, after the escape uh, island experience, you can play every single one of these. And also these. Beautiful, beautiful pumpkins. And you can sell them. You can sell them so that you get more money. So it's not just uh, 1M. It's actually uh, about... I, I, uh, I think if I remember it right. If I sold every single flower, every single blue and gold flower, I think I get about 1.2M. So here are the Noxcranny and Able Sister Shops. So, siyempre, malapit sa house ko. So, my house is actually... And so is the camp. So, if someone is gonna visit here for camping, this is what they'll see. So much mess. Okay, so there's also an area here. So, earlier you saw the, the rock formations here. Uh, so, it took a few weeks because luckily, uh, when I started this uh, rock garden, I was actually already stamping most of the areas of Ito. So mostly they were already paved or they already had walls or they already had structures. So I was, it was easy to trap these stones. So it took just a matter of a few days. This is actually the train station. This is my house. So as with all train stations, this is the... Uh, a very messy uh, lobby and ticketing booth. So this is the ticketing booth, and this is the concierge. The concierge is, is if you don't, don't know what time your trip is or what train you should take, you can ask through me because I am your car, your concierge. Okay, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so let's go into this. Uh, ramen shop first so this is one of the branches of the ramen shop uh, above so, although this is a different vibe more personal yeah not actually a ramen shop this is an onsen as well but uh, onsen and ramen shop this one is actually my room the whole game this is the only thing i own this is my room this is actually if you remember the first video i did for animal crossing so this is the this is the place where I actually hosted the the video. Then let's go to the main feature of this house, uh, the train station palace. So again, this is another forced perspective platform. So as you can see, there's a platform here. Of course, we have our trains on the other side. So the trains on this side hasn't arrived yet. So it's already three. Oh yeah, it's already three thirty. Man. So, and that's the other pla platform right there. So, if you have trash, please throw it in the trash can. Uh, currently, I don't, so I won't throw any. So, there's also a vendor here while you're passing the time. We're waiting for the train. So, it's just a small area for that. Tapos, uh, we're going to the underground. So, we also have here a very cool and very large uh, concert stage yeah. so there's always a concert going on here also first for also first perspective so there you go you can stand here if you want but the wood still look the same okay so last part of the tour So let's go to the castle first. So we fully upgraded this one. This shows the main receiving hall for the queen of the island or king. Oh yeah, king is me. Uh, watched over by two guards right there. Paper tiger, incense. 
and swords. Maybe let's have some poisonous tea later. Okay, and a gong, although you can't reach the gong, so if you're Abdullah, I'm sorry. Okay, if we go back here, this is the bedroom for... This is the bedroom for the queen. So she bought a uh, fake painting right there. I'm just displaying it there. Okay. So next room. It's a very simple room. So I was actually planning to have this become a part of the maze as well. No? So, but it was difficult to. I, I didn't know how to uh, allow someone to get stuff from this part inside. Because hey, if you drop something here someone visits they can't pick uh, anything they can't pick anything inside your house so I was actually planning to have it here but uh, since I won't although I won't give a clue where it is right now it's still within the island of the castle so it will be easy to find so I think this is the same for above and below let's just check before we go okay so with that Hopefully we get a few applicants for the uh, escape island. So we will be recording each run. Hopefully everyone who joins will enjoy the escape island I prepared for everyone. So okay. So I hope you enjoyed our little island trip. Uh, with that said, uh, hope you enjoyed and have a great day everyone. See you on the next video.